Oh, got something new. What we got? Fingers! Connected to a limb. Oh! 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 <laughs> it's all oh. The, oh, 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 oh no! Welcome to GT Not Live. We are ready to take another dip in the lake. The Rusty Lake, that is. Uh, recently, we played over uh, the first part of the Cube Escape Collection from Rusty Lake based on your recommendations. It is a escape room video game, basically. Uh, the puzzle solving, uh, you know, point and click adventure kind of stuff. It's, it's really fun. Uh, it's got the, like, dark, murdery undertones. Uh, you know, all sorts of, like, feel-good action. People are getting stabbed in the moon. You know, all the stuff that we like to do here on GT Not Live. Uh, so we thought we'd continue it today. Um, this is a kind of an ongoing series, uh, that is apparently very rich with the lore and, and has a lot of, like, mysteries attached to it based on everything you guys have been saying. And instead of me just going ahead and researching it behind the scenes and, and piecing it together, we thought at least we'd start the journey with you and, hey, if you guys like it, we'll go through the whole thing. But that first one was a lot of fun. Um, I love these sorts of games. I also... Did you play the, like, Flash Escape games? Oh, back yeah. In the day? I mean, like... The, this feels like a, a nicer, more polished version of all those, like, Flash escape games that you would do on, like, Newgrounds back in the day and stuff. So 100%. this is right up my alley. Yes. So, I mean, honestly, like, without much preamble, I don't think we need to really talk about it too much. We can just hop into it, right? Let's. So this Cube Escape Collection, last time we did Seasons, uh, we were the woman, we killed our bird, and we dealt with depression, which and had a lot of Prozac. So now, doing the lake. It's lake time. Is this... Is this the Rusty Lake? <gasps> Could it be? Ooh, I found- oh! I found an abandoned cabin at Rusty Lake! Hey! Okay, I see a- I see a secret right there. See that right there? Alright, I got some line. I got a fishing rod. Those two things seem like they should go together. But apparently, not yet. <laughs> Ooh, found a knife! Very knife! Alright. I got a cutting board. What else we got? Locked. Also locked. Anything around here? No. Okay. Next. Ooh. So this is a fishing line holder, so I can do that. Boop. Can I install the fishing line now? I can! Hook. I tie the knife to the end of it. <laughs> Those fish won't see it coming. Pew! <laughs> Stabbing them oh from God. the top down. <laughs> Where can I get those fish? They've outsmarted me for the last time. <laughs> Locked, but I could break it. With a knife. With a knife. The knife. I, I feel like we're limiting our abilities with this knife here. I feel like there's a lot of things this knife can do that we're leaving on the table unexplored right now. Just saying. Uh, here, let's tie this. There we go. Now can I fish with it? Yeah! Alright. Oh, Band-Aid! Nope, insect. <laughs> It looked like a bandy. It'd be a weird place to put one. Sure. But I understand. It's a, it's a point and click puzzle game. I thought it was a very plump worm. Oh, here we go. Insect. On here. Now we'll catch some. Now we'll catch some things. That, with that band aid. All the fish are going to be like, ooh, band aid. Ooh. Yes, please. Sign me up for that. All right, what do we catch with my band aid? Reel them in. Oh! Prawn! Yay! It's our buddy the shrimp! Yeah! Shrimp! Uh, those of you who don't know, Shrimp was the all-star of the last video that we did. Because he's awesome. And then we threw him in an oven and felt <laughs> bad about it. Let's see if we can catch it somewhere. Maybe else. it's the same one. It might be. Maybe it's all unified. Got a paper. Okay. The past is never dead. It is not even past. Okay. Eyeball. Shell. When our powers combine! We are Captain Planet. Okay. So we got a bunch of things we gotta collect. Also looked like there was something up there, but maybe not. So interestingly, the lake, the Rusty Lake, appeared in the last one as well. Like, the the girl was 
the woman was standing out in the middle of the lake, so there might be something something to do with that, which is interesting. Yeah, slide. nothing on the ceiling. Any light switches or anything? Okay, reel it in. Nope. Yes, that again. Let's see. What do we got? Oh. Oh, Ash. Ash has thoughts. Do you have to cut open the shrimpy? Yeah, I was gonna say I have a feeling. Like I didn't want to, cause you know he's a cute boy. He just keeps on dying. I know. I think that might be the theme. Maybe this whole time we ended our last one being like, what is the theme of this? You know, is it gonna be time travel? Is it uh, correcting past mistakes? Is it gonna be mental uh, mental health? Uh, no, it is just a series of nine stories all united by having to mutilate your pet shrimp. <laughs> oh, no. That's so sad. He was here the whole time. Oh, I still got my shrimp head, though. Ooh, I wonder if I can use him. Ah, uh, wait, hold up. I bet I can use the shrimp head. Here, hold up. Yeah. Oh. I bet I could catch something good with oh, the shrimp head. Oh, no. Hey, he's, he's a hero. Not that one. Which one is it gonna be? Is it gonna be this one? It is. Ooh, magnet! And see, and a moving band-aid! A moving band-aid! What kind of infection did you have? Oh, got some new. What we got? Fingers! Connected to a limb! Oh! 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Throw it back. That's not a keeper. No thanks. He's he's over the weight limit. <laughs> We're not allowed to keep that one. Oh, this is bad news. Bear is here. Hi. Hi. Can I take your hand? I guess. Oh God! Stop. <laughs> He's like, I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, but we can't do it though. I'm so sorry. I did get an apple out of his shoulder blade though. So, you know. <laughs> Yay! Achievement unlocked. <laughs> Caught apple. Can I cut it? I Not right now, I guess. Whoo! <laughs> Great. So that's what you catch with a, a shrimp head. Let's see what you catch with a worm. This is an eventful lake. Let me tell you what. <laughs> the fishing is the fish are biting today. Uh, <laughs> it's a dead horse. Oh no! Oh, thank goodness, just normal fish. Great. I'll take that. Uh, let's let's chop him up too. I'm noticing a pattern. Oh, a, you found a crack in reality! Great! But if I combine that with the magnet, I'll be able to summon things from another dimension. Oh, it really was a crack in reality. I thought this was going to be a branch or something. This is, this is totally a normal thing. Hey. Eyeballs looking at me. Oh. Ash's thoughts. You know that piece of paper? Yeah. yeah. Yep. 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 This one is there, right? Mm hmm. What else do we have? Uh, we need a shell and an eyeball. <laughs> Got it! Nailed that one! A uh, coin and a diamond. All right. It was in the fish the whole time. Well, I guess we're done with the cutting board for now. Unfortunately. Can I jimmy any of the locks? No, not so much. Anything on top of here? No. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Didn't expect that one, but great. Cool. Got the eyeball. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's the... I inside the wall, the thrill of the fight. Okay, well that one's in the bottom, bottom right. There we go. Mm, great. Hey, can I open this up? I can. There we go. Nope. Other one. 
What do we got here? Mold. <laughs> I needed to make sure that I protected my my mold in this little display case. It's, no one will hurt you anymore. Right? I'll keep you safe, mold. <laughs> oh, my beautiful mold. Is mold on here? No, it isn't. Oh, but I bet we can catch something with the mold. Oh. I don't... You never know what you're going to get with this one, honestly. Like, okay, here we go. Mole! Activate. Anything on the ceiling that I can rip up? Doesn't really look like there's any uh, broken stuff up there. Oh, nice shell. Excellent. Uh, that one is to the right. Okay. Shell. And, oh, I know it. I, I get it. Magnet. There it is. Not not the most intuitive, but I'm like, oh, I guess I guess magnets work here. You can catch like a can or something with the magnet. Ooh, another key! Or another key, that's cool. Can't take that back. I can. If I fuse my mold in my magnet though, who knows what I'll be able to capture. <laughs> uh let's see, where's the key? Here we go. Bottom shelf. Coin. I believe that one is the bottom, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So now we just need diamond. Um, what have we used, really? We've kind of used all of these. Oh, hello. Hello. Can I... What if I attach my crowbar <laughs> to my face? <laughs> Wait, can I do the knife? Can I really do the knife thing? No, I can't. Aww. Okay, because that would have been amazing. Yeah, let's, let's throw it out one more time. Why not? Maybe I'll catch a diamond. You know, all those classic magnetic diamonds. Yeah. That just live underwater. That, right! That, oh! Oh! No way! Really? What do we get? What do we get? Yeah! Yeah! I did not expect that to work in the slightest. Okay. Chest. Mirror. So this is six. Six times 237. Right? Yeah. Mm hmm Or 732. Here. Uh, 7 times 6 is 42. Uh, so it would be 2. Great. <laughs> Great, 2. Cool. Uh, 7 times, so that's 4, 18, 9, 20, 21, 22. Uh, 2, 12, 13, 14. There it is. Yeah! Not bad. Not bad at all, my friend. I'll take my magnet back. Thank you very much, because I don't think I'm getting anything else out of this. Boom, solved this one in record time. Okay, what do we got? So now you got a... I guess you got a star. Now what have we, now what have we accomplished here? <laughs> we've, we've made a beautiful design for our cabin. Achievement unlocked. Oh. <laughs> Night has fallen very quickly. <laughs> I'm very concerned. Can I rip through? Can I? Nope. Magnet! You've been very useful. Oh! Oh, it's my dear friend. Depression oh. and or anxiety and or <laughs> the guy I, I I pulled in from the lake. Okay. Well, well, I, I feel like I should stop clicking on him at this point because he seems very eager to attack me. Look at you. Whoa! BAM! Wow, that was really fast. Record time. I didn't find all the achievements, unfortunately. But hey, we did it. Yeah, you so sure did. That, that was fast. I think we gotta do the next one, don't we? Let's hop over to Arles or Arles. 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 That was fun. I, I like these. Okay, Arles. October 1888. What do I remember? I remember being very shaky on the transition. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, the bottle under my pillow does not bode well. Specifically absinthe under my pillow. Ooh, not great. Oh, hello. Oh, and I got my hat. Can I just wear my hat? It does, it's not used for any puzzle solving. It's literally just there, so I look good. <laughs> I look mighty fine in a hat. Got a key. What do we got? Oh. Oh, hello. I was about to say it reminds me of of a painting. Yeah. Oh gosh, yeah. 
What's you, it called? Starry Night? No, 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 no. Okay. The Painting of the Bedroom. Do you know what I'm talking about? I do not, unfortunately. <laughs> got a pitcher. Got a brush. Okay, so I've got to fill up this stuff, presumably, with one of these things. Okay. I can fill this up. I fill okay, so there's a lot of things I can fill up with my... I got a lot of absinthe and I'm pouring it everywhere! Moulin Rouge called. They want their absinthe back. Okay, paintbrush. Can I pour the absinthe in the bowl? I cannot. Okay. So we got a paintbrush. So I'm going to be painting the things in the world around me, it seems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, It's Bedroom and Arles. Um, it, it's literally by Van Gogh. Oh. Well, there and there, there he is. Yeah, right. It's also looking around very suspiciously. Absent Van Gogh? No, not so much. I mean, this would... If it's Van Gogh, I mean, that would further all the things about depression. And mental health, yeah. And mental yeah. health, yeah. Because, I mean, he was notorious for for that. Um, you know, his, his struggles. I saw Starry Night and I was like, oh my, is it connected? Yes, great. Look at you, art historian. Woo. Okay, so we have... We know that the this has the like little secret thing underneath. Can I brush it away? Brush it. No, I guess not. Okay. So we've got two pictures, two different ones. One is a, they both look like portraits of someone. Got a rag, maybe. Do we have to paint them different colors, maybe? Because I'm noticing that they're like this feels like a like paint by numbers or like a paint by like letter kind of thing. Like, oh, this is the color that you need. Oh, what's on the ceiling? Right here's another one. What can I do with any of these things? Nothing yet. Pitcher, tall bottle, pitcher, short bottle. Tall bottle, pitcher, short bottle. Okay. Locked. Okay, it's telling us the colors. So raw, I think, is this kind of green color. I'm assuming whatever this guy is. Coal is this kind of like uh, tan, or not tan, this uh, kind of slate gray. Woo! <laughs> In your face! Do I need them all to be small? Is that the point here? Okay, so this is one of those classic, like, oh, everything you touch, and we don't want it to be big. Well, that one disappears, that one. Okay, how do I get rid of this guy? That one there. Okay, so I need this one to be big. That goes there. Puzzles. You, other way. That one, that one. This guy's the this, this guy's the problem child right there. Nope. Well, welcome to this game where I'm just gonna click randomly for a while. Yay! <laughs> I guess I could here. Click this and this sugar cube here. We're gonna sugar come back cube. to that in a second. And a cheese bro. Oh, abs absinthe spoon. And a painting piece. Wow. Okay, we're we're just getting all this stuff here. Let's let's clear up my inventory for a second. Um, that looks like it should go there. And then here is our self portrait or whatever. So this guy is gonna go here. Boop. And this one is gonna go up here. Painting piece. There you go. Boop. Nice. Nailed it. Okay. I guess I gotta I pour things into here. Can I... What is an absinthe spoon? I don't even I don't even know this stuff. Do you know anything about absinthe at all? I don't know about absinthe spoons. Ooh. I'll admit my ignorance. I've poured my absinthe through my absinthe spoon. Is it like a like a drainer? Like a strainer? I mean? It, it kind of looks like it, doesn't it? And it, apparently, this is where the absinthe is. The spoon is supposed to go. Because I cannot remove the absinthe spoon, so I guess that stays there. So I would assume that that those two things combine into like, okay, I guess that's got to go there. Um, 
We're gonna have to erase. Can I erase? I can, okay. Okay, so I got G. Ooh, we got another another wine bottle here. So where was the glass? Do I have anything with the glass? I guess not. Not yet at least. Hmm. Okay, here's another painting piece. Here's another painting piece. This is a locked door. I'm bummed that I can't do anything with any of these. These chairs. So we're, WM is going to be... See, oh yeah, you can tell. Because see, it's the same symbol, this RL, RL, but it's upside down. So you know that these two are the same color or the same thing. Maybe one's upside down, one's right side up. But yeah, so you can start to tell what all of this is kind of indicating, which is that we're going to have a big like color puzzle here, I feel like. That's kind of the big theme of it. Is this one, then here's this one, we have this guy. Boop. Oh, and there's something behind that frame. Which one? Oh, oh good eye. Yeah, no, you're totally right. So that, we complete this guy, right there. Yeah! Oh, hey! He's looking <laughs> at you, kid. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. The final sunflower! <laughs> Great! You know, that was exactly what I expected to happen in that moment. Totally fine. So let's put our other sunflower in here. Hey. <laughs> cool. Can I can I fill you up with wine? How about some absinthe? I'm sure that'll that'll do wonders for you. Mm, Alright, I gotta figure out this. Shall I play? Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay, so you want all of them to be small over here. Oh, this one. Oh, shoot, that one. Oh, that one was big. Okay, there. Here. Here. Nope. Here. Here. Okay, but seriously. Okay, there. Nope. Do that. Welcome to Matt Patch is quietly playing this game for us. What gets rid of all of these? Okay, hold on. <laughs> Here. What about this? This gets rid of all three of them. That opens that one. That one will get big again. That one will get big, yeah. This just eliminates the bottom two, so those kind of just exist on their own. And we want them all small, right? That's what we're aiming for? It seems that way. Right. Okay, he's big, he's big, he's big, so I need this one big. And that one knocks off. Okay, him big. Him big. He's big. No, shoot. Okay, there. Okay. Make all of them big. Okay, 
Let's look at here. Hold on. Where is it? The slide puzzle. It's the same logic as the slide puzzle. Yeah, but now, they, now he's off, but now this guy's on. And I can't turn him off. So I'll go to the end. There it is. Woo! Alright. Woo! Alright. Five hours later, we got it. <laughs> Too early for all this. Okay, here we go. There it is. Knife! Got him! Everyone's favorite. Everyone's favorite item, the knife. Okay, we got G. We got knife and sugar cube. Does 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 sugar cube and absinthe go together? I feel like they might. Yeah. There it is. So now. What are you talking about? You don't Oh, hello. Ooh. I don't, know. I don't know what I'm doing to this absinthe, but it's producing unexpected results. Oh, it produced a painting piece, obviously. You know. Duh. It's symbolic. It, it clearly. All right, there we go. Self-portrait. Oh, I had a key in my mouth the whole time. Watch me do this magic trick. Ooh, the golden key. Hey, bud. Y'all good? Anything? Can I keep clicking at you and annoying you? Okay. <laughs> so please don't. <laughs> so leave me alone. I'm stuck as a painting. Have you no soul? Nice. Oh! Hey! Wait! You're not some evil entity that's like glitching out of reality? What's going on here, bud? My friend Paul. Hey, hey, hey. Just me, Paul. You want a hat, Paul? Aw. Ah. He's like, I did want the hat. Thank you. Oh, I found a nice painting palette. <laughs> I got nothing for you. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. <laughs> thank, thank you for your time. That was that was delightful. All right, so we have a painting palette. So now we got to find the paint to put it on, and then we start brushing stuff up, right? That's that is my interpretation of the events that are going to be happening here in a second. Um, let's see. Painter's palette. We got a brush and a palette. We got wide brush and small brush. We have knife. So the only thing we haven't really done a whole lot of yet is knife. Which is also interesting because we need to like cut off our ear. I'm, I, I'm assuming at some point we will cut oh. off our ear, right? Like that's, oh. that's like a foregone conclusion we can all agree with at this point. Can I cut open any of these guys or any of their, their stuff right now? Good. I have knife selected. Yeah, I do. Okay. So I can't. I was wondering if I could... Maybe slice that open or see what's behind it, but no. Um, I'd like to see this painting. This this feels oddly like something I should be able to pick up and do something with. Tell you what. Can I just pick it up? I cannot. The moon is G. So if it's not if, so if it's not the paintings yet, it's got to be the the cups the cups and bowls. Absinthe all Absinth. around! Woo. It's a party for all of us. Okay, maybe not. How about pitcher? Okay, so we got so we know we can mix water and absinthe at this. Point. Can I do that now? So it's one so it's one thing at a time. So do any of these indicate what color they are? Maybe it's the, their lines. So horizontal, vertical, diagonal, horizontal, kind of scratchy. Have we seen a code for that anywhere else? Horizontal is blue. Absinthe is green. Okay, green is diagonal. And horizontal is the wine bottle red. Red, blue. Okay, red, blue. Diagonal. Red. Okay. Horizontal. Vertical. Diagonal. Horizontal. Vertical. Okay. Right? This is horizontal. 
Mm -hmm. Vertical, diagonal. Or so this one and this one are red. Okay. So red, right? This one and this one are red. Yep. Then green, maybe green and blue. Green, maybe green. And blue. Ah! Ha, ha! Ooh, that was tricky. That was hard. Knowledge. That was that was a hard one. Okay, so now what, what have we achieved here? I've got a magical glowing bowl. And not a lot to know what I do with. Hmm. Can I cut off your ear? Yes. Oh, that no. Was yeah, there it is. Ear unlocked. Thanks, bud. Knowing your art history pays off in your point-and-click puzzle game. All right, so I got an ear. Great. feel good about myself. Oh, is this an ear on the bottom? Kind of looks like an ear, doesn't it? Oh, my gosh. Yes! Ah! Oh, no! What? Oh, jeez. Oh, we gotta clean out that waxy buildup, bud. We got issues. Got a question mark. That's that's pretty sus. Oh, does that mean the question mark color is like that, like the black or the goldy kind of color? It might be, yeah, uh, right. Yeah, it's this like ear wax. Color of ear wax. Oh, we got a gun, man. That's dark. That is dark. Ooh. Oh wow! Wow! Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Who knew that there would be such depths of puzzle within uh, Van Gogh's ear? Not I. Not I, indeed. Okay. Oh, jeez. So this is gonna be- oh. Oh, so the door's open. Yeah, right. So now... No, no it's not. Like, right? I was thinking well... the same thing. Okay, what are there any other coloring puzzles that we need here or no? Outside of this. So yeah, this is wax earwax yellow. All the rest of this is the white, this is the the like teal, this is the like door color. Okay, so we we know all that. We just need to now it's just about getting our palette ready. Really. That's what it boils down to now. So now we just need to get the palette ready, but let me hear, let me go once more into the ear. <laughs> once more into the ear. Okay. So we're going to have to figure out what all these are equivalents of, right? So we know the drum equals one. We know the hammer, or whatever, equals three. So drum equals one. And the hammer equals three. So shell. So the shell is also one-ish. We don't have... Do we have... The, oh, one. Okay, we're going to say this is about... It's either like one or zero, honestly. Right, it looks like the drum is slightly heavier. Yeah, it's hard to say. It's really hard to say, because because you put it on. So this if this is equal, putting this on does shift it a little bit, which says it does have weight. I think it's balanced. Right, I think it's balanced. So yeah. I think the shell is one. Mm -hmm. The... Hammer is three. So that looks... Heavier. On this side, right? Yeah. So it's like a four. Like a one four. But can I add, can I add multiple on this side? I can. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. So this is heavier. But this would be... Okay, so if this is four, plus one <sighs> is five. So, it, or... Yeah, if this is three, I'm thinking this is four. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now we got this guy. So three plus one. Didn't really do anything for me. This is this. That looks pretty level. That's balanced, yeah. That's five. So jum jumbo shell is five. So it's going to be, let's again remind myself, one, four, four, five, and then we'll have to figure out what the last one is. So we know this is five plus one. No. So, whoops. We know it's greater than six. So 
That looks about right. So that's yeah. eight. One, four, five. There it is. Nice. Woo. Good job, us. I'm... Ooh, it's the dark room. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations, you Ooh. achieved nothing. Here it is. Oh, that's my good friend. Depression, anxiety, whatever mental mental thing you're representative of. Can I shoot you or can I cut off your ear? I cannot, but I can shoot you, I bet. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Warning. I got a white cube. That was so worth it. Yay. A winner is me. Can I put the white cube on here? I cannot. Hmm. The the fact that I can't check under the covers bothers me to no end. Let me just <laughs> let me just point that one out there. I really want to check under those covers, and the fact that I can't get into them is is driving me a little bit insane. So at this point. What did that do for me? Did that do anything for me? I got the white cube. And we know that the color white is this W W M, like worm. Whim. Worm. 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 Which means that here. Can I do white cube plus rag? White cube plus here. Like I know, I know. White cube plus brush? No. Does it go on the on the door? Does it go on the door? Like here, you mean? Yeah. Why did it go on the door though? That doesn't make sense. Just because it's a cube. I saw squares. No, I mean, I, no. I, <laughs> clearly, clearly, you were right. Good job. Just because the colors, I'd like the colors are the thing. We just gotta put together the palette now. Hmm. Right? Yeah. You. You. Right. Yeah. What? No. No. I'm. I'm just. I'm thinking. Right. Right. Because I feel like at this point it's it's literally so. Anyway, I'm. I know I gotta run, but. I'm just intrigued by it. I'm trying to figure out. It has to do with the palette. How do we go through the ear? One hour later. Uh, <laughs> so, fun fact. No way. No way. Fun fact. You're you're kidding. Yeah. It just had it. It had it the whole time. Yeah. So, spoiler: we we had to cut here because one, I had to go away and do other things. But then, secondly, I came back. I was clicking around, clicking around a bunch, 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 trying literally everything I could to figure out how we would pull colors from the world around me to put on the palette. Because it seems like you have to collect the colors on the palette. And the palette is blank. In its image, it looks blank. When he drops it, it looks blank. I'm like, I cannot figure this out. I couldn't do it. Apparently, it's had the colors the entire time. And all you had to do was hang it up on this very obscure nail. I couldn't. I, I, I couldn't figure it out. So I will say, if the colors had been on there, that would make a lot more. Then it's like, oh, you got to fill in the colors, right? But no. So, yeah. Well, that's very humbling for us.
It, yes. It, it was very humbling. Yeah. Right? I'm like, oh, man. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that one, that one I, I may have needed a little help on because I was not coming up with anything. Because, again, like, you have all these colors listed out in the world around you. It feels like I should be pulling colors in. And you have a blank, what appears to be a blank board. At no point was I able to see that the, co- the board had colors on it. Anyway, now we know what we got to do, right? We know that we got to have to use our paintbrush. We're going to use our, here we're going to use our white and go to, but bing, do I actually have, wait, do I actually have to? Oh my gosh, Bob Ross. Do I really have to paint this? Oh no. I'm not, I, this is, this is stressful. I, I can't do this. Anyone who's watched, anyone who's been a long-term viewer of GT Live, back when it was GT Live, knows how awful I am at painting and how stressful it is for me to paint things. Wait, what? why did it just suddenly fill in? Did I just have to fill it in enough? <laughs> Great. QL is the color on the door, which is this? Uh, wait. QL, yeah, QL is on the ceiling, and it's kind of that, like, this this kind of color, right? So QL, why, can it can it just be, like, a, a fill-in tool? Like, the, the paint bucket, can we paint bucket this? QL, come on. This is a good, um, a good, uh, place to practice mindfulness, Matt. Just be <laughs> present in the moment. I uh, you <laughs> that's a that's a tall ask there, Ash. It's uh, <laughs> a tall ask, my friend. Um so d- while while I paint this very slowly, um this is a good time to talk about the fact that Stephanie recently bought me a how to draw book. Ooh. Because I, for the life of me, am not good at drawing. Um it's always been really stressful for me. Uh, I'm not, I'm not able to like come up with like if you give me some, great it's so it seems like it's coloring a certain percentage of things. Um, R A is the color of this guy, right? That, that kind of like tealy. Okay, R this this is it. R A. Um, but it's one of those. Th- nice. Wonderful. Uh, H question mark was this this guy, wasn't it? Yeah, the question mark itself was in that color, but it was on a like black vignette so could go either way oh that is true it was on a black right it was oh it was on black actually so you're probably right actually it is probably black isn't it just because yeah they made it yellow to make it stand out but it's not the color of the writing it's the color of the thing that the writing is on so no you're totally right that that's black okay uh (laughs) hn i forget what hn is hmm (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> right you are Ash hmm. Hmm. Uh, HN HN where where are you at oh wait uh, one's the board yeah HN is the board that's right the uh, headboard uh, but anyway yeah it's one of those things so I, I'm terrible at drawing I, I can look at things and roughly copy them but even then like shape and form and stuff are, are really it's a struggle bus for me yeah Um, and so it's one of the G. We've seen G before. So she got me this book that she had. Oh, wait. Oh. Wait. Yeah. When she was a aha C L C B. Um, she got me this book that she that taught her how to draw back in the day. And so I've started doing. I, I took my first lesson today. <gasps> Whoa. Uh huh. All about uh, how you transform like a round object into kind of like an oval object as you kind of perspective shift it. And so that's, it's been exciting. It's been very interesting and exciting. So we used, 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 used. Oh no, we haven't used this one. Used. So there's like three bonus. What's the G? Where did we see G before? On here. That's right, G. That's the, I'm like, there's, I know there's one that we didn't use. But yeah, so I'm hopeful that over time I will be a better, more confident drawer. It's called, uh, I can't even draw a straight line. Ooh, that's the name of the book. Uh, no, but that's the first chapter. Uh, oh, okay. It's not. It's an art attack. I'll. I'll. I just started it. I forget what the name is. I'll come back next time and I'll. I'll know what it is. Yeah, black cube. 
And now I know what to do with that. Boo! Yeah! Cube escape! I keep missing these two. There's, there's always the like last three. I got this one at least, but there's always those two. Huh. So it does seem like... Okay, so wrapping up me learning to draw, I've so far drawn a birthday cake and a simple television. Those are the Ooh. first two like little exercises that I've had to do. Maybe I'll share you at some point on my drawing journey. Maybe part of it was the AI art versus real art and just me realizing how painful this whole thing is. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm getting there. I'm taking baby steps. 2023 is about a healthier Matt Pat and uh, a Matt Pat who is pushing himself into positions where he's uncomfortable. Hey, we'd my, love to see it. Yeah, get, push myself out of my comfort zone. Try to do things that I've I've known that I'm weak in or want to be better at. So there you go. That's that's what I'm up to. Oh, were these always here? These are new. As I complete these. Oh. Right there's a fish from the fishing from the lake. You can't see it because everything's covering covering it up. There's a box up here, and then there's the guy down here. Oh. See, I don't think these weren't here before. You can't tell because my window's covering up the top too. But there's a. Well, I'm gonna do this really cool thing. Wait, 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 wait. Oh! oh! That's legit. <laughs> yeah, I think this is Lake. I think this is probably Seasons. And then maybe this is Arl. I'll pay attention as we beat these if there's more out here, but that's interesting. Um, anyway, yeah, so we'll do that. That's the whole thing. Um, I'll bring I'll bring my artwork at some point. But yeah, 2023 is the me finally training myself and teaching myself to like at least practice and get better at the things that have historically made me uncomfortable. Because if you're not pushing yourself out of your comfort zone and trying to learn and grow and, and be more confident, what, what, what you doing? That's great, Matt. That's, I'm really happy for you. It's a, it's a resolution. The two resolutions are healthier MatPad and, you know, more well-rounded, stable MatPad would be nice. Yeah. So, it's almost like a revelation in well, a way. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and you know, speaking of revelation, this game, right. revelations abound. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you throw a prawn head into a lake and you come back with a giant dead body. Revelation. Yeah. Moments, moments of pure, little moments of joy. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This is uh, Rusty Lake Part 2. Let us know, should we continue? So we've done the first three. And you can see that there's a theme of depression. You can see that there's a theme of... Uh, being haunted, maybe a theme of art in here and, and being uh, hunted or haunted by your artwork. Um, I'm curious where it goes. I can continue this off screen. You don't have to watch me produce this for content. I'm enjoying it. I think, I think these have been two really funny episodes. I think they've been interesting episodes. I think the problem solving is really exciting. Uh, but let us know. Would you want to see more of this? Because if I need to take it off screen and Jen just do it in my own time and release a theory about it at some point, we can do that. But if I can do it with you guys, all the better. It'd be a blast to do. So let me know down in the comments below. And as always, my friends, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!